Hello and welcome. This is our next topic. Switches. What do they measure, you say? They measure the existence or non-existence of something. Yeah? So often things are controlled by switches, yeah? limit switches. There are different types of limit switches or switches uh, in, in common, uh, which do have their own behavior and so on. I will talk a little bit about this. Yeah? So actually limit switches uh, are usually used to start or stop something, uh, to go to the next step in a control system. Uh, we can distinguish between touching or mechanically touching uh, control switches, limit switches, like these two here. Uh, this will be our first topic. And the other three which are, which are lying around here, these are uh, touchless. This, this is, if something gets close to it, uh, then they will switch. This is why they are also called proximity switch. Proximity switch. Okay. Mehrungsschalter in German. So these things. Uh, very small one, mid-sized one, big one. Well, you see, they have different operational things. Some switches with special meaning do have special design. For instance, for instance, this here. I move this away. Ooh. This here. Yeah. I think you all know this type of switch. Yeah. It's an emergency switch. It's an emergency switch. That's the typical, typical thing of an emergency switch. Push button, easy to touch, yeah. even in greatest danger, I am able to Hit it, okay, and it is locking. It does not. It blocks itself. Yeah, there is this one here is even with a key. I need a key to unlock it. Yeah. Here, turn, back. You see, click, pressed, unlocked. Okay, typical, typical emergency stop button. Special form, special coloring, and so on, and self-locking. Inside, we see it's not really, it's not really uh, a fully equipped emergency push button because an emergency push button usually has two contacts. But what we can see, look at this. Here is written NC. Yeah. This means normally closed. So if it's not operated right now, then those connections is given. Yeah? This connection is given. If it's operated, this connection is, is open. I am going to check this with my multimeter here. Let's hope battery is working for this. I will switch it to ohm measurement and I will turn on the beep. This means every time we have contact, we hear a beep. Yeah? If I now check the connection, is it pressed? No. So if I now check the connection, it's nothing. It would not be that good, let's say. <laughs> check connection. Aha, okay. It's again the screw topic. You see, it is connected. And then, now it's no longer connected. Now it's operated. So it's normally closed. Yeah? An Öffner. In German it would be an Öffner, an Opener. <laughs> opener you don't say in English. In English it's a normally closed contact. In German it's an Öffner, meaning it opens when operated. Okay, once again, check. Closed, press, open. This, of course, this is typical for emergency emergency push buttons, because if you have a wire break or something, it will open also. So the standard behavior is closed on emergency push button. I'll put this 
inside here. Clack, clack. Does it fit? No. Then I will not put it inside. Emergency push button. Yeah. Mechanical switch. Everything works well. Good. Let's have a look at, the, at mechanical limit switches. Mechanical limit switches. This here. That's one. That's one. Very, very tiny. You see? Very tiny. There's a little roller lever here. And you hear? Clickety clackety click. Yeah. Something is switching inside. We do have three contacts. And if you have a look on what is written on, there is written on a C for common. There is written on a NO, normally open, and there is written on a NC for normally closed. So we in, in German, this would be a change contact. Okay? It changes the common from normally open, uh, normally closed to normally open. There's an Öffner und ein Schließer drinnen. Let's check the let's check the function with our multimeter. Oh, hit it! Yeah, destroy it before it's built in. Good idea. This is the common here. This one. Oh, it's not that easy. Uh -huh. Now it's connected, released, connected. Released. Yeah. Normally closed contact. This is the normally open contact. It's a little bit more difficult to measure it. Clickety clack. I hope you can still see it. Okay. Click. Connected. Open. Connected. Open. Yeah. I bent this contact a little bit. These are just soldering fins. You can put in the you can put in the the wire there and solder it. Very tiny contact. Can be hidden easily. Can be pressed very easily. Should not be an issue. Maybe sometimes it's a little bit trouble to adjust it. But then here you have screw holes. Small screw holes, yeah. uh, small screw holes. You maybe can shift it a little bit, yeah, and then screw it. Micro switch, this is called, yeah, because it's so tiny. Good name. And there is also a bigger brother. This is a real limit switch. Yeah. Here. The adjustment can be done by positioning the lever. It's just one example. Just one example. Eh? And then if you are satisfied with the with the location, you simply screw it and then ah you hear there's also something it makes a little bit different noise because this is simply a more massive contact. It works in both directions. Okay. And you see it on the switch, there is also a normally open and a normally closed contact. But there are two separate contacts, there is no common. Yeah, there are three terminals inside. Okay. Three terminals inside, also mechanical switch. So this, this, these mechanical switches, okay, touching, touching the the things. If the contact is really switched, we might have troubles with chattering, yeah, or chattering or bouncing contact, bouncing a contact chattering. In German, it's a uh, Brellen, Schalterbrellen. What does it mean? There are two contacts in there. There are two contacts in there, and they either make contact. Or not. Yeah. In a normally closed contact, this, they make contact, and if you operate, they open. 
if in a normally open contact, they are open, if I operate, they close. That's it. However, those things, they need to be bent. Yeah? They need to be bent. This means they might not just touch each other, they might bounce several times. And this is happening. Yeah? They chatter, they bounce to each other and then they stay solid. So this means there might be a short period during switching when those two contacts come together and then they touch each other. So, contact bounce, contact bounce, bouncing or chattering. Chattering. Uh, how does it look like? If we take a look. If we take a look, we would expect something that if it's open and closed, it looks like this. Open, chuck, closed. And some point later in time, chuck. This is how we would expect it. Yeah? But in reality, it will move here, make here some spikes, and then stays on. How long and how much pause there is, this depends on the switch. This is this. Chattering. Now I write it that you can also read. <laughs> Chattering. All right. This is an issue on mechanical contacts. Uh, there must be done something about this. Must be done something about this. Uh, usually this is uh, some construction thing. Yeah that those contacts in there, those contacts in there, they're not just touching each other, they, it's there, uh, under tension, that it's either that way or that way, that they really back hit each other, okay? I will open this here one, this one here now. No, so good, sir. It's, it's really well <laughs> well screwed. Okay, here you see, here you see, yeah. right now, right now, the contacts are con are connecting those two, the bottom screws and the above screws. They are not they are not uh, connected to each other. If I move, you see. There is the contact which is springing, jumping from one position to the other. So it really, there is this is spring loaded. Okay, this is exactly to prevent bouncing. That it is touching back here or back there. Yeah, and I can very slowly, only slowly move. Let's see. Back. You see, and it's now slowly moved to the other direction. Back. Yeah. Even even if I only do gentle changes here, yeah, this is just jumping. And this is a typical behavior. This is to prevent bouncing or chatting. Schalter brennen. Wollen wir damit verhindern. We want to prevent. Okay. Typical, typical behavior. This is why it it always sounds so so so. Yeah, pack, 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 pack. However, this this bouncing, chattering, is not the only issue of mechanical switches. I will show you. I will show you another one as well. 
The other issue on mechanical contact is wear. Okay, wear is an issue. If we zoom in, I mean the contacts usually look like this. Yeah? Like this, they are copper or whatever, plated, maybe some are gold plated to prevent corrosion and so on. This is how, and if you zoom in here, detail A. Let's have a look here. Then we, are, we see that this is not perfectly round. This is somehow cratery. Here's the other side. Why does it look that awful, let's say? Yeah? Because every time those two open, yeah? if they open, yeah? the current will not, just, will not just be stopped. There's usually some small flash inside, some spark. Okay? And this spark, this can get really hot. I mean, it's not extremely hot, but it's get it is extremely hot, but not a very local thing. Yeah? So it will burn out, melt a portion of the contact, and this will just drip off. Okay? And every time this is closing and opening, closing and opening, closing and opening, closing and opening, yeah, then we do have a small burnout here. Yeah? So this is why a mechanical contact has wear, especially if you switch inductive loads. Uh, then this is extreme. Then this flash spark will quite be some a while. Yeah? If we have to switch inductive loads, we have to switch either small loads or take additional measurements to, to, to prevent this spark. In the end, it might happen that the surface of this formerly very flawless round contacts it's looking like this and then then you might have a bigger issue even and say just yeah, okay then it's where who cares yeah until the old thing is melted down it takes ages yeah? but here if it only touches on a very very small area yeah, there is current running so yeah? and if it touches at a big area the current density in this big area is rather small. And here if it only touches in a small area, the current density yeah, is really big. So we have two, two things we observe here. Between here and here must be higher, higher voltage that the current can fit through a smaller part. So this means the contact will not be as conductive as before. This might be an issue. Okay, and even if you press the current through this small hole, let's say or this small contact point, then it might get very, very hot in here. Yeah? Very hot. It might get that hot that it's melting, yeah, and then you have a bigger contact point because this liquid. Yeah? Then you have a bigger contact point, then it's cooling, and well, that is called welding. Connecting two parts by melting it, we weld it. Okay? We just welded together our contacts. And if we now want to open it, it is not working, it is not switching. Yeah? The contacts stuck to the other. Actually, it's welded. In German, we say Bickenblim, or in Austria, let's say. It sticks. Yeah? Contact sticks. Wrap Bicken. This might be a big issue in control systems. Okay. This is why you really have to take care about wear of mechanical switches. Huh? And this is why, this is why mechanical switches are used, huh? but not that regularly. Very often there are these switches, switches which are wireless because of these issues. Okay? And the proximity switches, Näherungsschalter, we will talk about next time, yeah? or 
non-touching switches. Now we talked about mechanical touching switches. Next time we will talk about one possible way of non-touching switch. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.